The final game here, this is going to be interesting because on this set tonight, there are two guys that wear orange <laughs> on their sleeve and they just can't help themselves. They bleed orange. And this is Bruce Bornarth and Taylor Jensen. Now, the game of the week is Tuscarora hosting Briarwoods. And Tuscarora is 9 0. Uh, Briarwoods coming in at 7 and 2, coming off of the heartbreaking loss to Potomac Falls, which is a little unfortunate for the hype in this game, I think, because I was kind of hoping for 8 and 1 and 9 and 0. That said, this one still matters here. This one matters a lot to Tuscarora because in order to, to defy Bruce Bornarth, you have to do one thing you have to take down the king. And the king in Bruce's eyes is still living, he's still, he's still the king. Bruce, that's what you said last week with George. Mm -hmm. But after that loss, do you, I'll give you a chance here. Do you want to change your story? you want to change your tune? Who wins this game on Friday? You know, every once in a while you stub your tongue. You know, when, when, when you lose something <laughs> like five games over the course of four years in a row, that every once in a while you, you kind of you have a hiccup and it, it's going to happen. Listen, is Tuscarora the better team? Probably. Is Tuscarora more talented? Probably. Is Tuscarora on, on more of a high? Is Tuscarora on that kind of a roll, just riding the steamroller? Probably. Having said all of that, taking my Briarwoods Falcons, because I think that now they, this is the first time in a long time they've had that back against the wall type of position. You know, that all right, are we going to come out fighting or are we going to cower down and crawl up into the corner and, and lick our wounds and suck your thumb kind of thing? I think Briarwoods, this is going to tell you a lot about character. This is going to tell you a lot about heart, even if they lose a game, but how they play the game. Is this game close? Do they fight? Do they compete? I think Briarwood comes out full bore, back against the wall. Here they come. I'm taking a foul. Like I said, they just can't help themselves. But I'm interested about Taylor's pick because – Taylor has been able to, to take that bias and put it aside from time to time. Taylor, what's your pick in this game? This is not bias talking here when I pick Briarwoods this time. I truly believe that this game matters more to Briarwoods than it does Tuscarora because Briarwoods has never had their backs up against the wall, like Bruce said, like they do this week. They've got all kinds of negativity coming around them because they lost to Potomac Falls. Like Bruce said, you're going to take one on the chin every now and then, but don't be surprised that if they're more fired up for this game, regardless of if the Falcon Frenzy shows up, than Tuscarora is because they're going to show, listen, we may have had a hiccup, but we're still Briarwoods and we're still going to come out and punch you in the mouth. I do believe Briarwoods is going to want to grab this game by the horns immediately and they're going to fight. And I, I think it just matters more to the Falcons. Listen, I respect both of you. I really do. But I don't know that, you know, it would matter if Briar Woods was five and four going into this game. You'd still pick Briar Woods. And it's just because you're homers. And I get it. And and so next week I'm gonna make a little bet with you. If Tuscarora wins this game, you have to wear Tuscarora gear on the set for the next week's show. Are I'll you down with that? I'll shake hands. Okay. Here's the reason why I have to separate these guys a little bit when I talk about Tuscarora, because Tuscarora's played the best football in five A North all year long. They've been the best team from the start. I said it after week one. I told you on this show and you two guys that Tuscarora was going to win the 5A North deal, okay, because of the way they have the best running game, the best quarterback, the best defensive line, the, the best overall team as a whole. And they're playing on a mission for their former defensive coordinator. I'm telling you right now, this game could be two to three touchdowns in Tuscarora's favor. Because Briarwoods will not stop Noah Rymers. They will not stop Daniel Smith. And they will not score on Tuscarora's defense more than a couple touchdowns. I'm just telling you right now. So there you have it. That's my prediction. The Huskies are going to be 10-0 after this game on Friday night. But I hope it's a great game. And I hope that press box shakes a little bit as well.